everybody and welcome, welcome to my kitchen. Yes, it's that time of week again. What, my second show. It's dinner time with Caroline. So, <laughs> thank you so much for tuning in. Now, the whole point of me doing these cooking shows live is so that everyone who wants to can actually cook dinner with me at the same time. So, I've, I gave you the ingredients. Last week, they went out and whoever wanted to join in can get the ingredients and then tune in now on Facebook and we cook together. Uh, and I have my lovely camera lady who did a fantastic job last week for anyone who was watching. It's my daughter, Bethany. Do you want to say hi? Hello. So Bethany is going to be like my commentator, my moderator. So any comments that you have, Bethany in and you can ask questions as we cook if there's something you're not sure on okay that's completely fine so today's recipe is my brown rice balls which is very easy and it's something I make quite regularly because it's all about using up leftovers now I hate wasting food I think it's a terrible thing to do so I try and make up weird dishes with anything that's left over in my fridge and I'm a, I'm a big fan of rice, we have a lot of rice here, because um, one, it's gluten free, and brown rice, very good for you, it's a nice whole grain, so it's filling, it's got some good fiber in it. So I use brown rice a lot, more than white rice probably now. So I've got my brown rice, which is cooked. I'm gonna show you the ingredients. This I actually made yesterday, okay, and so it's cold now. But you can make this dish with warm rice, it's fine with all the rice that you've just cooked, it's absolutely fine to be honest. And I've got some sweet corn, I'm a big fan of corn. I've got chopped onions, you have to move, chopped onions, that's it, chopped onions. I've got garlic. Now we've got this here. That looks very pleasant. <laughs> My daughter thinks it looks quite disgusting. It's a chicken sausage everyone, okay? Chicken sausage. We're good with chicken sausage, it's quite tasty. You can use whatever sausage you like, it's fine. Now, I've got my vegetables, I've got broccoli, we like broccoli here, and I've got some red pepper as well. I'm also gonna use peas, frozen peas are marvelous. I am a big fan, I'm a fan of some things frozen. I think freezing foods actually is a very good way of saving things. So, now I'm gonna start cooking. I'm gonna heat my wok up, so come over here to follow around. What's going on? Just get this nice and hot. This dish really doesn't take very long at all once you get going, okay? So, the uh, broccoli's chopped. I'm gonna chop up my pepper. And pop this into small cubes. Have we got anyone tuning in, Beth? How many uh, people have we got? Not sure how to pronounce your name, so Alia. Who is it? Have look. I mean, I've looked at Hi, so excited for this. She's gonna take Hiya. notes. Hi. So nice to meet you. Is that Dave? Dave Gardish. Hello. <laughs> uh, where do you get your wok? Where did I get my wok? Oh, can't remember now. I think it was somewhere like, I think it was somewhere like Target or Target. So good questions. Keep them coming. Bethany's going to like be talking to me and asking your questions while we cook. Uh, and hi, Dave. How are you doing? So just so you know, everyone, Dave is my sister's friend from England who now lives in Los Angeles. And so I hope you're very well. <laughs> we need to catch up. <laughs> and I hope you're cooking dinner with us too. <laughs> Martin says hello. Hi Martin, lovely to see you. And um, Alia says thank you. Ah, you're very welcome Alia. It's so nice cooking live together. I really enjoy doing live shows because it means I can talk to people, uh, people that like my recipes from all over the world. So thank you for tuning in. Now, Alia, whereabouts are you? I hope I'm pronouncing your name right as well. But whereabouts in the world are you? And leave it in the comments. Tara says hi. Oh, hi, Tara. Nice to see you. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining in. So I'm just chopping up. Okay, got my broccoli's done, pepper's done. Now, if anyone actually is cooking, I'm going to chop up my chicken sausage, which Bethany thinks looks disgusting. But, you know, hey, it's a sausage. They don't look that pretty, <laughs> to be honest. Okay. Tara is from Hawaii. That's oh, really Hawaii. cool. 
Man, me and Beth want to go to Hawaii. Whereabouts in Hawaii? We are pronouncing her name right. Oh, good. So it's your name. Oh, she's from. What? She's from Malaysia. Whoa, well, you're from and Malaysia. She's currently living in DC. Oh my gosh. That's really cool. Well, you know I'm half Malaysian. <laughs> so, very nice to meet you. And Love to visit. I'm not sure how to pronounce this, but Sari is from Florida. Sari from Florida? Oh my gosh, I was in Florida recently. And shout out to Marvin. Shout out to Marvin. You're welcome. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Some more shout outs if you can give them. Just keep them coming, it's fine. Hey, I was in Florida recently. I loved it. It was boiling hot though. I was like, I was doing filming a cooking show, a seafood show. We were deep sea fishing and I've never been so hot in all my life. I have ridiculous tan marks. <laughs> it was amazing though, so beautiful. Okay. Now my wok is hot, we can get cooking. Uh, right, okay. Oh, what I wanted to also say, if anyone is actually cooking along at the moment, once you've, once you've finished cooking, I'd love to see any photos, so send them along. We'd love to see. Ooh. Okay, now a bit of oil going in. Kai says, can you please teach us how to cook laksa? Ooh. I love laksa. Hi, Kai. That is an amazing suggestion. I actually, I do have, I think I've got one video on my YouTube channel with a laksa, but it really is one of my favorite all time Malaysian dishes is a laksa, so good thinking. I love that. Stefan says hi from Kansas. Oh, hi Stefan from Kansas. Nice to meet you. Um, I don't know what time it is now in Kansas, but I don't know if it's dinner time or not. Over here it's dinner time, and we're about to get cooking, because this, this won't take long now. Hold on, let's get my stuff ready. Won't take very long. First up, we got onions. Chopped up onions, everybody. Going in. Oh, hot. Be careful, Beth. There we go. And then we got garlic as well. Ooh, it smells good. It's smelling good already, right? Yep. It always smells pretty good, doesn't it, Beth? Um, Ian says, what other kind of meats can you use in this recipe? That's a really good question, and you know what, I'm glad you said that, because I was about to say it earlier, and then I forgot. So I'm really glad, Ian, you reminded me. So for this recipe, it's all about leftovers. I have made this dish with near enough everything. So you can, if you've got chicken leftover, chicken's great, cooked or non-cooked even, perfect. If it was non-cooked, you'd put it in at this stage. If it was cooked, you could put it in at the end. I've done it with ground turkey, I've done it with ground pork, I've done it with leftover beef, prawns, it's amazing with, so pretty much any kind of protein that you like. So very good question, thank you so much. Mmm, smells so nice. It smells really good. The garlic smell is probably one of my favorite cooking smells ever, I think. My house is gonna smell like garlic now, but that's okay, it's fine. And for those of you who are just tuning in, I'm Caroline Artiste. I do a cooking show on YouTube. I'm out here in America and I'm cooking live with my daughter on Facebook. So this is a cook along. So hopefully there's some people out there who are actually cooking dinner with us. All right. So once the onions have soft softened up a little bit, as you can see, you just zoom in there back. I'm gonna add the other ingredients. I'm gonna add in. We got broccoli. They have to go in now because they take a bit longer to cook. Okay, and then I'm just going to add in the sausage, the peppers. This is so good. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, and it's kind of like you just want to stir fry the ingredients together. If you have sesame oil, that's also a very nice ingredient to add. And to be honest, all my recipes are very much a, you know, I like people to do what they want with them. I'm kind of giving you the basics, and then you can go away and experiment. Maybe you don't like broccoli, that's fine. You can substitute it for something else. I won't be mad at you. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. So once that is kind of left to cook a little bit, the heat and the steam from the wok cooks all the vegetables down. You want to put the things that will take the longest to cook in at the, at the beginning. 
so I prefer the onions to be softened, that's why they go in first. And also the garlic really flavours the oil when you cook, so that's why I put that in first too. All right. Now if anyone's cooking at the moment, maybe you've got a completely recipe, completely different recipe to me. <laughs> oh, Thanks darling. I've got the seal of approval from my daughter right now. Doesn't it happen very often. It's good. <laughs> okay, that's nearly ready. This is such a quick recipe. Uh, next ingredient is the rice. So that's going to go in now. Okay. okay. So rice is going in. Now this I cooked yesterday and it's cold. If you just want to, if you don't have time to or you don't have leftover rice, you can just cook up some rice and put it in. I'm not going to use all of this, because it's literally just me and Beth eating, and I don't think we're going to eat all that. Oh, Bethany! Waffles! Hello, Waffles! Hey, I'm going to show you, everyone, our new guest for the week. We have Waffles! Hey, Waffles! No, oh, he's Bye. Hey! Hello. So, everyone, this is like, the cutest dog you may ever see your whole entire life. This is Waffles. And this is not my dog, this is um, another famous YouTuber's dog. Hi! Say hi! And he's actually famous. Isn't he gorgeous? Oh, you're a bit bored, are you, darling? Yes. So, I'm looking after Waffles. This is my friend's dog, and I don't know if you guys know, uh, you probably do, a lady called Gemma Stafford. She has a big baking YouTube channel called Bigger Boulder Baking. So if you know Gemma, this is Gemma's dog, Waffles, who is actually a celebrity dog Waffles. now. Oh, he's, uh, he's in a magazine. Oh, he's waiting for dinner. <laughs> he's joining us. He's so cute. Here is the cutest dog ever. Darren says, oh, bless his And Olga says, hello from San Antonio. Hey. Oh, cool. How are you doing, Olga? Nice to meet you. And Darren, yeah, he is the cutest dog. Right, now, a couple more ingredients, people, and then we're done. I've got peas, and these are going in straight from frozen. There we go, peas going in. I love peas. I love me some peas. And then sweet corn. I'm also a big fan of corn. Yeah. Okay. Who's getting hungry? I am. That's starving, aren't you, darling? Yep. Just had some practice, now she's ready for dinner. Okay. All right, so lots of veggies in there. We've got a bit of protein as well with my chicken sausage. The chicken smoked sausage, actually. It's an andouille sausage. Ian says, would quinoa work with this? Ooh. Well, that's a very good idea, yes. I think that's a lovely choice, actually. Quinoa, again, very high in protein. I'm a big fan of quinoa. I would say not too much oil, though. Just, like, less amount than I would use with the rice, because you don't want it to go soggy. But I think the exact same method, giving it a bit of a stir-fry, a quick stir-fry, would be lovely. Great suggestion. Now, a couple of sauces I'm using. I'm using some oyster sauce. If you've got some of this lying around, because I kind of, I do have a lot of Chinese cooking, so I love oyster sauce. And I've always got it in my fridge. And also soy sauce, of course. What cupboard doesn't have soy sauce? I love soy sauce. <laughs> and have soy sauce. Olga says, looks fabulous, ready to head to the kitchen. <laughs> and Ian says, thank you. Ah, you're so welcome, Ian. And Olga, uh, I'm so happy you're going to be, are you going to be cooking this up now? dinner. I hope I've inspired a couple of people's dinner times. All right. Is that looking good now? It does look good. Thanks so much. Okay. okay, good. All right. Well, basically, guys, that is it. It's been in the pan for probably, I don't know, 10 minutes, maybe, if that. It doesn't take long at all to cook. My broccoli is cooked through now. We're just gonna make it tomorrow for lunch. Ooh, nice. Good idea, August. This is a very nice thing. You know what? Even, huh? Even like you can 
make this like tonight, I would eat this again for lunch tomorrow. Because that is a huge pan, by the way, and this is me and Beth here, so. I don't think we're gonna eat all that, are we, darling? <laughs> I don't think we're gonna get through all that tonight. So I come over here, I'm gonna just uh, serve up into a bowl. Big bowl. Oh, okay. Ooh, the lighting's well. The lighting bad. It's a little funky. No funky. Well, this is the beauty of live broadcast and filming. Bethany, you can be like a trained camera girl right now. Okay. Rice is in. It's looking good. Um, Kai says, I want this with dim sum. Mm. Dawn says, looks deliciously colorful. Oh, yeah. And Wilma says, thank you for sharing. Hope to see you cook quinoa recipe, please. Oh, well, you know, I love quinoa. So I would like to do that in one of my dinner time recipes, actually. Mm -hmm. We should do that. Oh, my nose. What's that? Having... Okay, well, let's, we're going to come and move to the dinner table now. And I'm going to serve some of this up. Where are we gonna put the phone? Okay, you put the phone over there in the corner, darling. And guys, so, oh, hello. There we go, we're just propping the phone up. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Yay, okay, great, you can see us. Oh, this is nice, I can still see your comments. I love the way Facebook has actually made live broadcasting. I think it's very easy, I really like it. So, do you wanna pour some water and then I'll we well, just got some flavoured water, lemon and mint. That's how I like it. And then we're going to serve up some of this. If you've got any other questions, what's that? So the plate is for one person. Oh, that's a quite a big bowl there. I think we're going to share this together tonight. And I've still got more in the pan, so we still have lots left over. Now, this is really the end of our broadcast. Dinner is cooked and done. But what I would love to say is thank you very much for tuning in and cooking with us. I want to start doing this on a regular basis. So I, 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 what I will do is I'll put the recipe up the week before for what I'm going to make next Wednesday. I'm going to try and keep it the same time every week. So on a Wednesday at about around 6.30. I'm open to changing the dinner times if that's better for people. Um, and next week I'm actually making... What am I making? For what now? Ooh, I'm doing some fish next week actually because I like fish. I hope you can like fish. We lo well, I like fish. Okay, I'm a big fan of fish. <laughs> I'm doing these herby fish bites, which are really very simple to make and delicious. So you're gonna love it. Don't give me that look right now. <laughs> so um, that's what that's what I'm gonna make next Wednesday. I will post all the ingredients and make another event on Facebook. Um, so then you can go hard. You can go out. Get all the ingredients up with my Wi-Fi. Sorry, my Wi-Fi is just going crazy. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to put the ingredients out for you for next, ready for next Wednesday. I'll post it tomorrow, I think. So check back on my Facebook page. And um, I hope, yeah, the same time next week uh, we can do that. And for anyone else on different time zones, I'm thinking if this becomes more of a thing, then uh, then I'd love to do it on different time zones as well. So I'll put up, serve up some of this. What, what was the verdict, Beth? I was talking too much. What did you think? I said the sausage, first of all, looked very bad. Yes. But it actually tastes very good. Oh, so I'm very happy. Yeah. It's a smoked sausage. I thought you'd like it. It doesn't look the prettiest when you're cooking it. Now, I like to add a bit of spice to everything, so I've got my big bottle of sriracha there. It's pretty, you don't even like this, do you, Beth? I'm mm. putting some sriracha on everything. Mm. That's it. Now, let's see. Who else is this? Oh, girl. What's this? And let's do more cooking demos. Oh, I'd love to do mm. more cooking demos. I really enjoy doing it. So thank you, Olga. And thank you, Ian. You know what, my eyesight's like, not this good. My phone's actually quite So fine. it sounds good. Love your style of cooking, similar to my own. Ah, oh, okay, good. Yeah, I like it just to be, mine's quite easy, really. I like, I like to do my recipes for people that are quite busy, to be honest, because we're busy here. And I like it to be simple and healthy and delicious, of course. Is that Lau? Hi Lau Yang, nice to meet you. And Lester, hey Lester, oh, and thank you so much guys for tuning in. So I'm just reading the comments as they're going on. We like doing the live broadcast. I hope you've enjoyed learning a new dinner time recipe to add to your easy meals uh, repertoire. So next week is gonna be Herbie Fish Bites 
They're so tasty. And I'm going to do like a new potato salad. I'll put all the ingredients in an event tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next week. Thank you, daughter, for filming. This is a real mom and daughter show. It's just us here. And waffles, of course, the dog. <laughs> all right then. Bye now. Bye, everyone. See you soon.